I'm Rice Salawan. We the brothers from the gym, Mess New Orleans camp. Coming back at you with another quick side lesson. Prior to getting started, as we always do, we like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hockey that's pushing the truth to sincerity. Lord willing, this video will be edifying first and foremost to the whole let then to those that cleave to the body. And we, I just want to get in a lesson today with these brothers. Obviously, uh, every man is in the same spirit, all right? And in order to uh, gain the kingdom of heaven through salvation, it's through belief, all right? And that belief is coming by, it coming by what? Faith, man, all right? There's no way to please the Lord. It, it tells you there's no other way to please the Lord except by what? Faith, all right? So by faith, we believe. By faith we heard, and by faith we speak, man. All right, so we faith-based first. All right, Jake, like, well, how you can't bridge the gap with this, or how y'all don't have all the knowledge or the understanding? We got faith. Faith cover bridge everything else. Whenever we get to a, a, a spot where that we are basically maxed out, a, a reached an end, what, what covers us for the rest? The faith, man. What's up, my Hebrew brother? All right, what's up, my brother? Yeah, you got faith, my brother? Oh, <laughs> All right. you gotta know what faith is. Oh, ultimately, yeah. I wish I came with mercy and grace, which once the law was done away with, then the faith came in place, man. Which we gonna put, I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna get that as well. All right. So the only way to this, to be saved is to believe, man. And our thoughts represent what we believe, man. All right, your thoughts is what's stored up on a man's heart. It says a man's heart that's settled. Matter of fact, hold what you got. It's going to say a heart that's settled upon. I, I get that. Y'all stay where y'all at. And then we're going to bring out what you got. All right? Is this a rock? A heart that's settled. I got it. Yup. This is a rock 22 and 17. All right? It says a heart settled upon a thought of understanding. It's as a flare pastoring on the wall of a gallery. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful sight, all right? It's a wonderful sin, right? And when people come, they're appalled by what they actually see in a person, man, all right? Because a man's faith precedes him, right? Your faith going to show forth your works. They're going to see you what? On the highways and byways, all right? It's going to show forth your prayers and any other thing that comes about a person. It's going to what? It's going to be about his faith. Romans tell you that. All right, by faith we receive the promises. Uh, by faith, men were saved. By faith, Noah built the ark. All right, so we understand the significance of what faith is, man, and how serious it is. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I want to say too. Yeah, I always say faith is a great motivator for us. That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? When you go into a motivator, means that's that driving force. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We need, you know, a driving force. Hey, all day walk through that path towards the kingdom. Yep. To obtain the kingdom, and the only way we do that is we have faith. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got all. You got all, brother. Yeah, in this chapter I'm going to read, it actually says at the top, the word faith brings what? Salvation. 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 Right? So the only way to get salvation is through faith, man. Hey, hey Jake, look at that as a light thing. Like, nah, your faith determines, <laughs> like, that's, the Lord, aren't, the Lord requiring faith, man, at the end of the day. You got something to say? Yeah, I was going to say, you know, and the only way to even achieve so that, one that faith, it has to be a gift from your Yahweh Shah, from your Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yeah. That that, but that belief, a gift. right? It's a gift, and it's a, it, it's a, it, it factors in to your righteousness, your justification, and everything else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And as a gift, whose recompense is double. So if you get double that gift of faith, then uh, did not. I, I believe it was, uh, and I'm gonna paraphrase this. You brothers ain't gotta get it. I believe it was uh, Elisha that said, "Give me a double spirit yeah, of Elijah, double, yeah, of yeah, Elijah's yeah. spirit, yes. right?" And how much faith Elijah had to what he was translating? Right. It speak about that in one word. Romans, uh, 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 by faith they were saved. Uh, Hebrews 11. Salah. I keep saying wrong. Salah. Hebrews 11 chapter. By faith Enoch was translated, man. Right. All right, and Elisha asked for a double, a double portion, so a, a faith, right? And the minute he asked for that, he started doing double the works Elijah, man. He started a healing and splitting the river. Soon as he, he, soon as he got the spirit, he started splitting the river, man. But it's all, it's about belief at the end of the day. Give me that Romans ten. As uh, Romans ten verse one, 
brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. First of all, you got to have faith in Israel being saved. Israel makes up the 12 tribes of Jacob. All right. Uh, Jacob's name was later to change to Israel when he battled with the uh, angel of Peniel Paul. He said, for you not have, uh, uh, have battled uh, flesh, not flesh, but he said you have battled the, the, the spirit. Uh, not only have you battled in, in flesh, because Jake was in flesh, all right, but you also battled in, in spirit, man, right? all right, which a blessing came upon. Jake said he would not let the angel go until he blessed him, man. How much faith you got to have to where you wrestling with an angel till the sun came down, man? He had to tap into his spiritual powers to get Jake off him, bro, and break his, and break his leg, man. All right, he had faith like, look, I'm not letting you go till you bless me, man. And the blessings we need is faith so we can get what? Gain salvation. But it says Paul had so much faith that the Lord had Paul write that his heart's desire and prayer that Israel might be saved, not nobody else. All right? David, David prayed that, David said that um, blessed is uh, us that had the word. And he said, bless that the Lord didn't give it to none else, or other, the other people, man. All right? I paraphrase that for Salani. You know, now jump to four, brother. Right. This Romans 10, verse 4. For Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. But read that again. Because right. all Jake said, the law, the law, the law, the law, the law. Yeah. All right? It's about the law of faith that Paul spoke about. This Paul, too. He's letting you know that Yahweh Shai is the end of the law. Yeah. Meaning what? Not that we stop keeping the law. All right, but that now we are translating it to that fate of the law, man. All right, which was ultimately compels us to keep going for salvation. We don't let our sins wear us down or our iniquities lift up themselves to where we are totally condemned in the heart and spirit, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Yeah, are we not like, yeah, worrying or, okay, let's see, uh, basically a overbearing, man, trying to keep the law statute commandment to No, perfect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to kill ourselves. Yeah. All right, the letter of the law kill it. You see, go ahead. Uh, Romans 10, 4 again. For Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Yep, he, so he's the end of the law. Now keep going on. To for, everyone that believeth. Remember, the key thing is the belief unto salvation. Now go ahead. For Moses described of the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. And it tell you in Hebrews that under the law, and the two, two or three witnesses under the law, under with Moses, two or three witnesses, you die, man. All right. So by law and faith came, came by grace of the law came with Yahweh Shai in John one and seventeen. He took away that, so he ended the law, and well, we would die when we would commit certain uh, offenses, man. Now we can what repent, all right, and be still what saved from it. You see, go ahead. But righteousness, which are, which is a faith. Speaking on this wise. Yep, righteousness which is a faith. Speaking on this wise, uh, Abraham was translated because he what believed the most high, man, by his works. And righteousness, he had faith. Go ahead. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven, yep. that is to bring Yahweh Shah down from above. But that's the point. But the righteousness which is a faith speaking on this wise, man. All right? Uh, get the 10. Go to 10. Jump to 10. Kind of uh, Romans 10, verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth. Start eight. Go to eight. Go to eight. God. Yeah. This is uh, Romans ten verse eight. But what saith it? The word is not the nigh thee, nigh thee. Yep. Even in thy mouth. Yep. It's in the mouth of the prophets. Go ahead. Watch and in thy heart. And in thy heart, which is in your spirit. Go ahead. That is the word of faith which we preach. Right. That's the word of faith which we preach, man. So what we preach is the word of God. Don't worry about that, brother. That is the word of faith which we preach, man. All right, so this word being Yahweh Shai, we're preaching Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's what's in our hearts. And what's in a man's heart, that's who he is. All right, as a man thinking it, so is he. Yeah, I'm gonna say on that, I appreciate it. You got it, go ahead. This is uh, Proverbs 23 and seven, it says, go to 10. for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his yeah, heart is not with him. So yeah, whatever you you think in your mind, the thoughts in which you manifest, those those thoughts come into action and come into play. Like if you think that you're gonna be a heavyweight world champion and you train all your life to be that champion, there's a chance that you may actually become the champion. 
because you're you're envisioning it before it actually happens. Yep. Okay. Got it. Go ahead. Uh, verse nine. That that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thy heart the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And really, we already did these two. <laughs> Right? We already believe in our heart that the Lord raised our self from the dead. Cause we believe the words in the scriptures, man. Alright? It says the word, uh, the scriptures is not broken. So at this point, whatever in the scriptures, we believe. It says, and we have to believe, alright, uh, that the Lord raised them from the dead, we, which we believe we're gonna be saved, man. So through the spirit, we already got salvation, man. It just have to what? It, it, it got to be played out. It got to be manifest, man. If you believe in it. All right. Go ahead, brother. For with the heart, man. For with the what? For with the heart, man believe it. Right. So with your spirit, you believe it. Go ahead. Unto righteousness. So so you believe by righteousness with your heart, man. Your heart thinks where the righteousness is at. It's not really played out through your hands. It is in a way, but a man's spirit dictates his righteousness, man. All right. Go ahead. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So every time we confess the name Jehovah Bashim Yahweh Shine on the highways to our brothers, all right, the brotherly love, the charity, all these things help us uh, uh, bridge the gap to salvation, man. You see? So as I, as a, again, as our mouth speak, what we speak of, the oracles of the Most High, man. All right, and they help us what? Be made unto salvation, you see? Now give me what you got, bro. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. It says, for we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. So who is the we Paul talking about? When you read in Romans 1 and 10, he said to Israel, man. That's Israel, all right? Go ahead, brother. I believe and therefore have I spoken. So Paul believes, so that's what he speak about. Man, what you believe in, you gonna speak on it. Don't niggas of the world what what they believe in? If a nigga stepping and sliding, what he talking about? Stepping and sliding, brother. All right? Nigga believe in their children making the NFL and that nigga in college. That's all they gonna talk about, man. I believe. All right? So, you know, all we talk about is this. You won't know why. Because this what we believe. All right, go ahead, all right? We also believe and therefore speak. And so we're going to continue speaking until the Lord cleave the tongues to the roof of our mouths. That's why we can't stop coming out here. Uh, Jeremiah said, if you brothers could get it, it was as a uh, fire in my bones and I could not stay, man. So we can't even stay. We can't even stay of what we believe or speaking. We speak it to our family members, children, our women. All right. We speak it to the, the world, to the brothers. Okay, it really becomes all we speak. Yeah, okay. great. Huh? This is uh, pro, uh, Jeremiah 20 and verse 9. It says, Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more of his name, but his word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Yeah, he couldn't forbear himself to stay, he couldn't keep himself. You know why? Because the Lord gave him the spirit of belief. So he couldn't even stay, man. All right, till he had to speak it. All right, we speaking it through prayer. Once again, we speaking it to our what? Loved ones, right? Friend, whatever, like, we can't, we gotta speak this in some kind of way or another. All right, it become a daily routine of uh, of talk, man. All right? That's, it's just what it is. All right, this will, this will we have a doubt into being and doing, man. This who we are, all right? A man speak what he is. A corporate man about the business, what he do? Speak about the corporate business, man. That's what he talk about. A man who only in love with his wife and children gonna talk about his wife and children, all right? That's what he believe in. Come on, brother. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Go ahead. This is uh, this, uh, Psalms, thir Psalms 27 verse uh, 13. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Got it. God. It said we have fainted unless we have uh, believed to see the goodness of the Lord, man, in the land of the living. 
You know what I'm saying? All day, man. To remain the same, you gotta believe that. Hey, of salvation, the benefits of salvation, hey, the kingdom, those new bodies we gotta get, man. Hey, the promises, man. They, hey, the, what the Lord promises, man. The blessings. Hey, always, hey, hey, always, hey, to receive that, you gotta believe. You go get it. Yeah, you'll put it on the forefront, brother. Yeah. You can stand out here, thank you. You can buy brothers and all that. The angels right down, man. The angels know what's happening. All right, you can play all the inside, outside games. All right, you can try to fool man with the eyes, but the, the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. He know who believe it. He put the spirit on to believe, man. All right? And a man believe in the way the Lord has bestowed the spirit upon him as well. You see? It ain't the way you believe, all right? Because we all in like mind, right? But his belief is what? Is, a, is unto salvation, man. How you get it? You see? Go ahead, brother. This is 1 Peter 2 and verse 6. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be. Nah, that's for the first Peter 2 and 6. Yeah, the first chapter 2 verse 6. Slot there. Oh, that's a uh, uh, slot. Uh, first Peter 2 and verse 6, it says, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Yeah, that, that chief cornerstone that he lands Zion is talking about Yahweh Shai. So as we, whoever believe in him is not going to be confounded. Go ahead. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious. Uh -huh. But unto them which is which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the corner. But them two... It's all about them two, therefore, which is, he is precious, man, all right? Those peculiar people have, under, have, have an understanding of who is precious, that precious stone, man, that we would be built upon, right? All right? But he's, he, uh, to those which be disobedient, it don't matter, it's judgment unto you, man. Just remain disobedient, all right? Or remain in disbelief. It says, don't let the incredulity of them uh, yeah, trouble, trouble you, trouble you yeah. right? We don't care. It says, and get it, get it in Romans 3 and 3. Right? Where are two being disobedient, they were appointed. So don't Edris uh, tell us, don't, uh, he told Edris, don't worry about how the wicked gonna be punished, but worry about how the righteous gonna reap salvation, man. Go ahead, Doc. It's uh, Romans 3 verse 3. But what if some did not believe? <laughs> Shall their unbelief make the fate of the Most High wild effect? Yep. Yahweh forbid. So the Lord forget, forbid, right? If Jay come out here against us, he don't believe. I don't believe that book. That's the white man book. This ain't gonna come to pass. Well, you know what, nigga, so what, nigga? Now what? Now what? What do that stop? You ain't stopping prophecy, all right? If you can't stop prophecy, what you talking about, right? We understand, we believe in prophecy, man, all right? From the ages. So at this point, our mind made up, all right? Uh, our heart is fixed and settled on the Lord As it says in Psalms 112 and 7 We're going to be fixed and settled on the Lord, man That's it, alright? Give, yeah. give me that last one, go ahead, brother You want me to point? Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah Lord still going to do what he do at the end of the day, man second His plan still going to hey, we'll be fulfilled You know what I'm saying? Prophecy yeah. going to come to pass Still, yeah, no matter, who, no matter who believe or not Look that. It don't goddamn matter, man Like the brother said, man Alright? It said, um, yeah, let the most high be true, but every man ain't liar. Yep. As it, as it, as it is written. Yep. And it's written in the, in the Old Testament. Go yeah. Ahead. Thou might be justified in thy saying, yep. and might overcome when thou art judged. Yeah, so we're going to be justified in our sins. Would it matter, like, we're the ones that can convince the gainsayers. They can't alter your mindset if your mind is set on the Lord. They can't alter what you believe in salvation. When a man heart or he in his religion, as far as he is, all you could do is uh have him. He gonna either die for it, or he gonna or, 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 or he gonna what? He gonna leave the religion. Which you can't. We can't even leave our religion. We still Israelites. How you gonna leave? What you gonna go do? Man, I ain't doing with that Israelites. You still an Israelite, nigga? All right. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, like I said again, Lord still gonna fulfill his plans. That don't, don't matter. matter. Don't matter. Proverbs 12 and 5. Because, uh, Proverbs 12 verse 5. 
the thoughts of the righteous are right. You know why the thoughts of the righteous are right? Because they believe they uh, until you how about Shem Yahweh Shah. Period. We don't gotta say nothing else. We don't gotta say, oh, because over no. What the thoughts of the righteous, the righteous are right because they believe in Yahweh Bah Shem Yahweh Shah. Now that's it. <laughs> Tired of playing around with Jake, man. It's business, man. We don't want, I don't, we don't want play around. This is it. Alright? So the thoughts of the righteous are right, man. This is right. To believe in Yahweh Bah Shem Yahweh Shah. Hey, what are the thoughts of the righteous, man? This word. The word. Yeah, and hey, the word they are hundred percent facts, man. Hundred percent right. Hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah, it said the word been purified in the earth seven times. Yeah. Man. What do you? That's in the hearts of the righteous. Yeah. Come on, man. So, but the counsel of the wicked are deceit. Yeah. So their heart is full of deceit, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Well, they think of man. They think oh, they gonna fulfill the American dream. You know, Esau. They think oh, they gonna fulfill the NWO. You know what I'm saying? Um, they gonna uh, rule forever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they, uh, our people, man, they think, oh, they go, um, that's what's in their heart, right, though. Yeah, that's that's what they heart. believe in. They house the cell last forever, like you said, they enterprise. Yeah, yeah. They they believe, the wicked believe, if the wicked could believe what they believe in and, and setting the stage yeah. for all this to happen, why, why, why we can't believe? Are you crazy, man? Then we believe in the only thing that's righteous. The only, they don't even believe in gods, man. Them niggas got other gods they serve, man. They don't, it's only one god, it's only one power. Come on, man. Come on, man. Verse, 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 say, uh, it says uh, that Esau says, "Who is who is God that we should serve Him?" Yep. You know that's what he really believes in his heart. Yeah. And we're completely contrary to that. Yep. We, you know we we're the polar opposite to it. Yep. You know? Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon too. All right. They say that in their voluptuousness, meaning their pleasures of, you know how they 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 save people. All right. They don't, they believe that you die and just evaporate, man. Right. These people don't know what they believe, man. <laughs> One minute they believe this, then they believe that, then they don't believe in absolutely nothing. Right. Most of them are atheists, man. So they, they don't even got a belief. They'll wake up with a belief today, then tomorrow is a whole nother belief, man. Right. Read verse eight, man. Uh, it's uh, Proverbs 12 verse eight. And man oh, shall be commended according to his wisdom, yep. but he that is of of a perverse heart shall be despised. So you're gonna be commended according to your wisdom. Wisdom coming by way of what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. 